Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos, and today we're going to make a super cute set of stacked books. So I got these books at a thrift store for, I think it was like a quarter a piece. This stencil from Hobby Lobby with the honeycomb and the bee. Some florals that I got at Dollar Tree. Some twine from Dollar Tree, and some stamps that I had on hand. And then of course a stamp pad. Some yellow, gold, and white, and black paint. So the first thing I'm going to do is rip the covers off of these books. And I just ripped the top cover off. I left the bottom ones on because you're not going to see them. And once I had the covers ripped off, they leave like a little bit of, you know, extra paper. So I just took some sandpaper and scissors and cut that down to make it all nice and smooth. So while I was sanding, I sanded off the edges of the book so that the writing would kind of be less prominent so that when I painted it, I didn't have to do so many coats to cover up the lettering. I used my little ladybug vacuum to clean up my mess. I highly recommend this if you don't have one because they are amazing for such a tiny little thing that runs on batteries. It sure does such a great job. Once I had my mess cleaned up, I took the marigold colored paint and painted all the edges of my books so that the edges of the pages were all like that yellowy color. Then I took my white paint and painted the top cover of each book. So I'm just gonna paint right on the paper, right over what was already there and the edges of my book with the white paint. You can use acrylic or a chalk paint, it's totally up to you. I used acrylic because it's what I had on hand sitting on my desk. So I did a couple of coats of that and it's okay if it wrinkles and stuff because that's just kind of what you're going for anyway is kind of like an aged look. once I had the covers all painted, I just took my heat gun and dried them the best that I could. And then I'm going to take my bee stencil on the top book and I'm just going to put the honeycomb all over the top of it. And I just use that same color. It's like a yellowy gold to do the honeycomb on the top of the book. So I just did this on the very top book. You could do it on both if you want. It's totally up to you. Once I had the honeycomb all on there, I'm going to take the B and I'm going to put that in the corner of the book. So I just kind of flipped the book upright and I did the B at kind of like an angle. And I just did that with some black acrylic paint. Once I had the bee and the honeycomb on there, I'm going to take my stamps and I'm just going to stamp out the words, be kind. And you always want to start at the edge of the book with the last letter of the word. So here I'm going to do the E and then I'm going to do the B before that. And I messed up when I did this and I wrote B E and I wanted it to say B E E as in B. So I ended up having to redo it, which wasn't too hard. I just took a baby wipe and wiped off the stamp and then added a little bit of extra white paint and fixed my mistake. As you can see, it was super easy to fix my mistake. And now look at that, how cute is that? Next, I'm just gonna take some twine and I'm gonna wrap it around the books a couple of times and then I'm gonna tie it at the bottom.
Once I had the twine exactly where I wanted it, I'm gonna add a little bit of the florals that I got at Dollar Tree. So I just pulled off a few of the stems off of it. And I'm just gonna hot glue those right into place on top of the twine. And then I'm gonna add a little buffalo check bow that I made from a ribbon that I got at Dollar Tree. At first, I wasn't gonna use any ribbon. I was just going to use some twine to make a bow, but I thought that the buffalo check and ribbon really added to the whole project and I just thought it looked super cute. So I figured I would add that. So once I had the bow attached on there, I actually cut another piece of the florals off of my stem and I put that right in the middle of the bow and I think this just brought the whole project all together. And I think this just turned out absolutely adorable. It's super cute, it would look great tipped into a tiered tray or just sitting on a shelf. And honestly, lately I have loved anything that has a bee on it. So I hope you enjoyed this project. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it inspires you to make one. And as always, please don't forget to spread the chaos.